Dear learners, in this unit, we will introduce you to data processing techniques, data storage and their features, types of computer memory, primary and secondary storage devices, input devices, output devices, and special terminals. After completing this unit, you should be able to explain data processing techniques, data storage devices and their features, types of computer memory, commonly used input and output devices. Processing methods are used to process different types of data. Conventionally, batch processing, online processing, and real-time processing techniques are used. Batch processing method is also known as sequential, offline, or stacked processing. In this method, jobs are received and placed in a stack or queue. These jobs are entered in a system after a specified interval of time to generate output. Batch systems are used where information is required after a specified interval of time. In online processing method, terminals are used to enter data to a host computer to generate the useful output. Modern computing has introduced the concept of web-based online processing system. For example, the air reservation system is an online system. Real-time systems accept and process data simultaneously. There is no time delay in real-time systems. For example, the radar system and weather forecasting system are real-time systems. Processing methods are used to process different types of data. Conventionally, batch processing, online processing, and real-time processing techniques are used. Batch processing method is also known as sequential, offline, or stacked processing. In this method, jobs are received and placed in a stack or queue. These jobs are entered in a system after a specified interval of time to generate output. Batch systems are used where information is required after a specified interval of time. In online processing method, terminals are used to enter data to a host computer to generate the useful output. Modern computing has introduced the concept of web-based online processing system. For example, the air reservation system is an online system. Real-time systems accept and process data simultaneously. There is no time delay in real-time systems. For example, the radar system and weather forecasting system are real-time systems. In modern computing environments, large amount of data is to be processed. A large number of applications are required to process these data. Data processing techniques are now supported by state-of-the-art PC platforms. Modern operating systems execute applications in multiprogramming, multitasking, and time-sharing environments. Dear learners, Different measurement units are used to measure storage capacity. In computers, the measurement units are bit, byte, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte. The smallest unit of data representation is bit. It is acronym for binary digit. It is either 0 or 1. A zero represents an off bit and one represents an on bit. Combination of eight bits is called a byte. 
you can use different combinations of bits to represent alphabets, numbers, special characters and other symbols. 8 bits can be used to represent 256 different symbols. The next storage unit is kilobyte. In general, kilo means 1000, but in computers it is equivalent to 1024 bytes. Megabyte means roughly 1 million bytes. Exactly, it is equivalent to 1024 kilobytes. A gigabyte is roughly equal to 1 billion bytes. Exactly, it is equivalent to 1024 megabytes. Gigabyte storage can store enormous amount of data. A terabyte is equivalent to 1024 gigabytes. Terabyte is a huge storage capacity and it can store hundreds of thousands of printed pages and information that may require thousands of CDs and DVDs. Dear learners, RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It is also called Volatile Memory, Primary Memory or Temporary Memory. Its purpose is to hold data, results of operations and programs temporarily. The contents of RAM are lost when the computer is turned off. RAM is a very fast memory as compared to permanent memory. Over the past few years, different types of RAM have been introduced. These include RAM, SRAM, SDRAM, RDRAM, VRAM and SGRAM. ROM stands for read-only memory. It can store programs like RAM with two major differences. First, ROM is read-only memory and its contents cannot be changed. Second, the programs stored on ROM are available even if the computer is turned off. The programs stored on ROM chips are called Basic Input Output Services. These programs communicate with computer devices like RAM, keyboard, monitor and other devices. Modern microprocessors contain high-speed storage called cache memory. Cache stores the data and instructions that are accessed by the processor repeatedly. Microprocessors have support for level 1, level 2 and now level 3 cache memories. Secondary storage is also referred to as permanent storage, auxiliary storage, external storage or backup storage. Secondary storage devices are used to hold data useful information and computer software. Modern storage devices include both magnetic and optical devices. Magnetic devices include floppy diskettes, hard disks, magnetic tapes and cartridges. Optical devices include recordable CDs, rewritable CDs and DVDs. Some portable devices have recently been introduced. These include zip drives and thumb drives. These can hold large amount of data. Computer uses input devices to enter data to the computer system. Commonly used input devices include keyboard, mouse, scanner, cameras, pens, touchscreen, game controllers, optical input devices and multimedia input devices. 
All these are discussed in this learning session. The most commonly used input device is keyboard. Keyboards differ in size, shape and a few special purpose keys. All keyboards contain alphanumeric keys, modifier keys, numeric keys, cursor movement keys, function keys and special keys. The arrangement of alphanumeric keys is known as QWERTY layout and most keyboards are designed with this layout. Another type of keyboard layout is Davorak. It places the most commonly used keys in the middle row. Now we will discuss different keys and their functions. The escape key is used to cancel any action or dialog box in Windows environment. The tab key allows you to move to the next tab position while you are typing in a word processor. The enter key is used to execute the selected application or the menu item. It also allows you to finalize the dialog boxes with OK or cancel button. The backspace key allows you to erase one character that was just typed. When caps lock key is turned on, it allows you to type capital letters. When it is turned off, you can type small letters. Modifier keys are used to modify the input of other keys. For example, you can press the shift key and then press the numeric key 4 in the top row of alphanumeric keypad to print a dollar sign. You can hold the control key and use the mouse to right click and select multiple files. You can hold the control key and press A to select all the text in a word file. You can use control, alt and delete keys to access the Windows security dialog box. Numeric keypad is used to enter numbers to the computer system. When num lock is turned off, it allows cursor movement. Cursor movement keys are available on the standard keyboards. IBM compatible keyboards contain special keys to access the start menu and the properties menu. Function keys are used for special functions. For example, the F1 key is used to load help in most softwares. The F2 key allows you to edit current cell contents in Microsoft Excel. A trackball is also a pointing device. You can roll the ball in the place and move the pointer on the screen. This diagram shows different shapes of trackballs. Trackpad is another point and click device usually available on the laptops and notebooks. It senses the finger touch and allows moving the pointer along the movement of finger. Trackpads have two or three buttons similar to mouse. Some trackpads sense the hit of your fingertip. Modern laptop computers have a track point between the alphabetic keys. Pushing the track point forward, back, left or right controls the pointer. Buttons are provided to select the options. Pen-based systems allow the user to point, draw and write with a special pen on computer screen. Another input device is touch screen that allows the user to place a fingertip to select from a menu of choices. These screens are used in computers and devices like photocopier machines. Joystick and game controllers are two popular input devices used to play games. Joystick allows the player to fly, run, fire or drive a character. The most commonly used point and draw input device is mouse. You can select menus, buttons, draw graphics, 
drag and drop items by using mouse. This figure shows different shapes of mouse. A two button mouse, three button mouse and a mouse with a trackball. Mouse generates left click, right click, double click and drag events. When you want to select an item, you can point to that item and click left mouse button. You can double click the left mouse button to open an application. If you click right mouse button once, it opens a shortcut menu. You can select an item and by holding the left mouse button, drag that item to a new location. Optical devices include barcode readers and optical character readers. These use light as a source of input. Barcode reader reads the barcode and converts it into a computer readable format. It converts the individual bar patterns into numeric digits. The image scanner converts printed text and graphics into electronic form. It works by sensing the intensity of light reflected at different points of the printed material. Color scanners use color filters to separate RGB colors. Modem scanners allow you to scan printed material and translate its image into editable text by using optical character recognition software. Although the conversion from image to text is quite complex task, OCR software has become very advanced and can translate the various fonts. All modern computers have multimedia capabilities. Input devices are used to make audio and video input. Audio input devices can be used to record voice to the computer. Modem computers have the ability to recognize the voice patterns. Multimedia capabilities allow you to conduct online education by using video conferencing and audio video chatting. The digital camera works like a PC video camera, but it is portable. It enables you to capture images and save time to acquire images by traditional methods. Diskette or memory card is used to store the images. Modem digital cameras can be attached to the computer by the USB port. The output devices are used to return processed data to the user. Commonly used output devices include monitors, printers, plotters and multimedia speakers. These are discussed in this learning session. The most commonly used output device is monitor. Its output is in the form of soft copy. The two basic types of monitors are CRT monitors and flat panel monitors. CRT monitors are widely used with desktop computers. The screen of a CRT monitor is coated with phosphors. That is the gray material. The smallest number of phosphor dots is called a pixel. An electron gun is used at the back of monitor to fire electrons on each pixel through a coil. Metal plates are used to reflect the electrons on different parts of screen in a particular order. The phosphor particles glow when an electron hits them and an image is created. In color monitors, there are three electron guns that emit three basic RGB colors. Each pixel in color monitors contains three phosphors that are red, green and blue. These are arranged in a triangular form. A shadow mask is used to hit the correct phosphor dot to create an image. 
CRT monitors are categorized depending on the way they display colors. Color monitors support from only 16 to 16 million colors. Flat panel monitors are popular because of their small size. These are commonly used with notebooks, laptops and now with desktop computers. The most common flat panel monitor is liquid crystal display. It creates an image by using special liquid crystal. The crystal becomes opaque when it is charged with electricity. The picture quality of LCD monitors is not quite good as compared to CRT monitors. Graphic adapter improves motion graphics quality. These are installed on motherboards on PCI or AGP slots. VGA boards used with PCI slots produce better quality high resolution graphics. Accelerated graphic port allows video data transfer. AGP has many advantages over PCI. AGP has its own data bus for transferring data and it can pipeline commands like CPU. In addition, AGP can handle 3D graphics and supports video adapters with built-in video RAM. It also shares random access memory for better performance. Size of monitor is another feature. CRT monitors are larger and require more space than a flat panel monitor. Monitors come in various sizes ranging from 5 inches to 30 inches. 14 and 15 inch monitors were popular in the past few years. Now 17 and 19 inch monitors are becoming more popular. Resolution is measured in terms of number of horizontal pixels times number of vertical pixels. Higher resolution monitors display clear images. Some common resolutions are 800 by 600, 1024 by 768 and 1600 by 1200. All these resolutions are in 4 ratio 3. It is called aspect ratio and monitors are designed according to this ratio. Computer-aided designing involves millions of colors and modern monitors support 16 million colors and higher. Another characteristic of monitors is its refresh rate. It is the rate at which the screen is repainted in one second. Usually, refresh rate is from 50 to 100 times per second. Higher refresh rate reduces screen flickering. Interlaced and non-interlaced monitors also affect monitor flickering. Interlaced monitors paint alternate line while non-interlaced monitors paint whole screen in one pass. The output of printer is in the form of hard copy. You can print a report, a picture or a work plan. The common considerations for printers are cost, speed, text and graphics quality, maintenance, add-on features and even noise. Broadly, printers are categorized into two types. These are impact printers and non-impact printers. Impact printers include dot matrix printers, daisy wheel printers, line printers and plotters. Dot matrix printer prints with a head that contains 9 to 24 pins. Dot matrix printers are low cost. These have lower speed in the range of 40 to 200 characters per second and these produce poor quality text and graphics output. These can produce carbon copy of output. These make noise and produce near letter quality output. Daisy wheel printers use a daisy wheel 
to produce characters and numbers. The output quality is better than dot matrix printers. These are not used commonly these days. These produce letter quality output. Line printers print a line at a time. These are faster than the dot matrix and daisy wheel printers. The speed of a line printer is measured in terms of lines per minute. The operation of inkjet and bubble jet printers is like impact printers. These use ink droppers to spray combination of ink to produce a colorful output. These have higher printing cost than laser printers. The speed of printing is quite slow in the range of 1 to 3 pages per minute. Laser printers are non-impact printers. These use light and laser technologies to print pages. The black and white laser printers are low cost while color laser printers are high cost. These print up to 30 pages per minute. Laser printers are capable of printing 300, 1200 and 2000 dots per inch. These produce high quality graphics output. All in one multifunction devices allow you to scan, copy, fax and print office documents. The output of architectural work is usually very large and may be printed over a few square feet paper. In this case, plotters are used. The two types of plotters are drum plotters and flatbed plotters. Drum plotters use pens and drums to print the image in continuous form, for example, an earthquake pattern. In flatbed plotters, the pens and paper move concurrently to produce the output. Business people use manual projectors or multimedia projectors to make presentations. The presentation graphics can be printed on transparencies in case of manual projectors. These graphics can be prepared by using presentation software like Microsoft PowerPoint. The computer can then be attached to the multimedia projector to make the presentation. Terminals are used for both input and output from a remote computer. These include dumb terminals, intelligent terminals and special function terminals. Dumb terminals have no processing capability. These comprise of an input device and output device, usually a keyboard and a monitor. These are attached to a remote computer. These work in simple text mode. Unix based systems support the dump terminals. These are installed in airline reservation offices, hospitals and defense organizations. Intelligent terminals have processing and storage capabilities. These can interact with text and graphics applications. Special function terminals include autoteller machines and point of sale terminals. Autoteller machines facilitate you to make banking transactions across the network. These machines have a card reader area, a small printing device, a keypad, a display screen and a voice area. The idea of ATM is now implemented in various other areas like airline reservation, attendance systems, in factories and colleges. Points of sale terminals are used in large departmental stores, restaurants and at other locations. These have a keypad, a printing area, a small screen and a storage facility to store the code, name and price of the items. These print correct prices.